This is a vacuum gauge. It uh, doesn't have numbers, but it doesn't matter. We have a problem here. I have to see if I can find one of my diagnostic books. This is a 250 Yamaha Virago. Seems to have a, a good idle with this hose blocked off or on a vacuum gauge. When we put it on here, we'll see what happens. Hold on. I want to say I work on mostly old stuff and this has a smog system pretty much like a fucking car. So now let's see what happens. Huh. All right, we'll see if I can find a book. Well, I can't find my book describing how to read my vacuum gauge. I've forgotten. The problem is sticking valves. The needle remains steady but quickly flicks up and down and then back up again. The downward is usually three to four inches on the scale. All right, or when the needle oscillates violently over 10 to 14 inches, as the engine speed is increased, it means you have a weak valve spring. Engines that have burned or constantly leaking valves will exhibit vacuum readings as shown. There is an evenly spaced downward flickering of the needle, usually about six to eight inches. A regular downward flickering of the needle just over uh, two to four inches indicates poorly seated valves. So this says valves. A low steady reading of about 10 inches indicates late valve timing or a possible slight intake leak. See if the problem is a leak. Now my uh, my 350 that I've built has 530 lift 300 duration. The idle vacuum is six inches. And when you're running down the road, you might have 15 inches. Oh, here's mine. High performance engines, those with high lift, long duration, large overlap, will, will show a normal vacuum reading lower than stock engines, typically around 15 inches. The needle remains steady, but a little needle shake is to be expected. This is because of the valve overlap. That's right. And then a low steady reading of 3 to 6 inches means you have a major intake leak unless you have a high lift uh, cam like I do where normal idle is around 6 inches. If the needle starts off at normal vacuum but drops off in a regular manner, suspect a blown head gasket. So yes, at uh, 10 inches, normal would be up here at 20. A steady but mediocre needle reading of about 15 inches indicates retarded ignition timing. So you got to rotate the distributor and reset the ignition timing. If the carb's idle mixture is adjusted improperly, the vacuum gauge needle will move slowly back and forth between 13 and 17 inches. Adjustment of the mixture screws will make the movement go away if you're lucky. Well, here's one. When an engine first started and idled, the needle shows a normal reading, but as the engine speed increases, the needle goes, slowly goes to zero. Suspect a clogged exhaust system. Excessive back pressure is the cause. Deceleration. Deceleration. Normal. Engine with worn rings or diluted oil. Normal operation shows around 15 to 17. Rapid acceleration causes the needle to drop to zero. Rapid deceleration causes the needle to rise only to about 20 to 23 inches where it should be 26 or 30. Reason, lower vacuum due to gases bypassing the rings. When you see the needle regularly swing back and forth over six to f four to six inches, it means the valve guides are worn. That's not good news. And then a low steady reading of three to six inches means you have a major intake leak unless you have a high lift. Uh, see, leaking or burn valve. So what I'm gonna do now is check the valve adjustment. Take this garbage off, take off these covers, remove these, both sides. Remove those two plugs, that's 17 millimeters. Make sure you get all these areas cleaned out on all four before you go and remove those plugs because garbage collects down there. Get some carburetor cleaner sprayed in there or something. This refers to this. Your numbers are 3 to 5 on the intake and 4 to 6 on the exhaust. And that's how you do it. So I'm going to do it now. Not good. Not good. 